What's up guys? This is Tim from LiveCaseBreak.com. We have our national BGS submission. This is round one. We did two rounds at the national. Beckett got behind real quick for most of you guys that have asked me about this. So uh, we did the first round. That's back today. If you're not in this one and you subbed cards with us at the national, you're in round two, which should be back, I would say, eh, five to seven days, somewhere around there, five to seven business days, possibly a little longer depending on transit time. Um, so don't worry if you're not in this one, you will be in the next one. We're going to go ahead and get started. We got a uh, hundred and twenty some odd cards to go through here. 120 some odd, something like that. Um, for those of you guys that know how we do these, just flash the card, show you. If you're interested in them, comment on the video. Probably the easiest way to do it. This will be on YouTube. Some of you might be watching this on YouTube later. So if you're interested in any of the cards, comment on the YouTube video and I can try to put you in touch with the owner if they are selling. Uh, we did have four PSA cards that came back too. We've got some more coming back soon, but these are the ones that came back. So here's the PSA cards first, and then we'll get into the big meaty Beckett submission. There's probably, like I said, 100 to 125 grand worth of stuff here. It was a big submission. Uh, so we had a Pele, 62, came back a five. Not one of his rookies, but still one of his earlier cards. Very happy with the grade there. Some of these I'm gonna put right back in the wrapper. Some of these are actually sold already. This next one is actually sold. Okay, this is one of Pele's rookies. 58, 59. And that came back a four. That card is already sold. Probably look it up on eBay if you want to know what it went for, but the buyer requested we not discuss it. You know how that goes. <laughs> so that was a PS4 and that one already sold. And the last two, I just want to put the vintage ones away. We had an 89, uh, 88 Cal League, California League, Griffey, with the California League spirit. Really thought this was going to 10. Oh, it was so close. PSA 9, though. The centering got it. Of course. Still a nice card. Solid 200, 250, I believe, there. Nice Griff. Again, if you guys are interested in any cards and you're watching this video later on, just feel free to comment. And like I said, I'll do my best to uh, put you in touch. Uh, PSA 4.5, that was a 62 Stella Pele. Another nice one, but not as rookie. So that was it for the PSA vintage stuff that we had. The rest is not back yet. Um, we actually did have a Tyson Italian Super Sport, but that's over in the other box. That was Andrews, and too lazy to walk over there and get it right now. Okay, we're going to start with these stacks right here. We're going to go through these, and then we'll get into the stacks that are labeled for some of you guys, like Alan, uh, Jeff, you got a stack over here. So here we go. And enjoy. Probably move pretty quick through these. Uh, there's a Harvey. NT Black. RPA from uh, 2012 NT. Got a 9. This sub, I'm telling you guys right now, is pretty damn crazy. We did very well. There was only maybe 3 cards under a 9. Um, on some of our stuff, I do men. Some of these, I just wanted to see what they were grades, so I didn't do a men on some of them. It's slightly disappointing, but these are still nasty cards. Both Curry's got 9s. Exquisite uh, Rookie Autos out of 30. Jersey number gold, exquisite rookie autographs. Those are nasty. They did get nines, though. Still not too shabby. That's a lot of money right there. Oh boy, Pat Light fell off the wall. I just noticed, guys. I'm going to have to put the Pat Light Japan Fractor back up there with new tape. We'll get, we'll get it done. Uh, there's one of the Korea On Card Supers, the Bowman Best High Def Heritage Auto. Got a nine. 8.5. Thought we could sneak those edges by with a 9, but we couldn't. 
might be worth it to whoever buys it to uh, try to resub, but I cleaned that surface up something fierce and got it up to a 9.5. I don't know what else is going to bump on that. Still a nasty card, 10 on the auto. Anthony Davis, red RPA gemmed. 18 out of 25. Beauty. And a Thor out of 25 dual patch auto from Tier 1 gem. Great Tier 1. Nice card. Camera doesn't want to show you. Hey, welcome to the show. There we go. I'll finish off the fat slabs first. So I'm just going to pull this whole stack out and then slowly slide those ones back. I'm going to put this Harvey back on top. Label these and put them away when we're done. Okay. KB, a pink triple color patch auto gemmed from Inception. It's 14 Inception. Addison Russell Heritage, nasty patch auto. From the Smokies game used, that gemmed. That was a uh, 14 Heritage. The Clubhouse Collection, a wall of BGS. That's right, Danny. 4 out of 10. Little teaser alert. There are some black labels in here, fellas. Rudy. Gemmed. Immaculate RPA. 3 out of 27. The jersey number parallel. Those you basketball guys. Nice card. Really nice Conforto here. Out of 25. Uh, it was this year, right? Yeah, 16 Inception Gold. A little Conforto action, some KB love. And our first 10 of the sub, a D'Angelo Russell Panini VIP Party Black 101 Laundry Tag Patch. Uh, we just sold an exact one of these Bryants for $325 or $350. So this will go right up in its place, and it's got a 10 on one of the subs. The other one had all 9.5, so yeah. probably same value. Maybe a wee bit more. And there's the Russell. One one's on the back. Yep. Nice little stamped 101 on that. Okay. A couple more. We got a another Rudy. I only got a nine gold select RPA. If I can get it to focus, but it doesn't want to. Alright. Uh this is a really nice card. Puig. That's his five star 101. Rainbow parallel. Ten on the surface. Nine fives abound. Beautiful. Even though he's, uh, you know, not doing so hot lately. What? <laughs> Was your trip good? Okay. Good deal. Okay. Exum. Prism tie dye. Here you go, Danny. Bring in the Australian mojo. <laughs> that is a beautiful card. Select RPA. Prism tie dye. 110. Uh, that one's a 25. Yeah, 25. 17 out of 25. And the Dante. That's a beautiful card. Okay, Devin Booker. RPA out of 25. Uh, or no, not an RTA. That's a Colossal. That is a Colossal. 10 on the surface. Here's some more KB. Clubhouse collection to match the uh, Edison Russell from earlier at a 10. Triple. 9 fives on that. It looks like another Dante. 9. The corners held this one back. 8.5. Well, there's two nice ones right here, Danny Man. If you want to start the collection with a bang. Have a deli? Nice. Uh, this orange is out of 25. 3 out of 25. Okay, the first of two Gronk Supers. It's a 101. The autograph got an 8 because Gronkowski signs all over the damn place. That is his uh, 11 Platinum, or uh, 10 Platinum. Super factor with a nice patch. The autograph itself isn't too shabby, it's just 
off the sticker and want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different spots. Gemmed overall though. Well, Gronk action. Rudy. That is a gold RPA out of 25. Nine. This is a nasty freaking card. Marcus Mariota. That is his Spectra Super Auto. Tend. Pristine. As everybody says, even though they're all halfway from Black Label, that's halfway from Black Label. Corners. There's the back of it. You uh, are good with corners. I don't know. I did my best on that. I'm pretty happy with the 10. 10 10, the auto was a 10, real. Mariota 10. And just a couple more thick cards here. We got another gem, Rudy. MTRPA out of 10. 6 out of 10. Another Harvey Gold RPA from 12NT. Gem. And another KB with a Cubs logo. Red, 1 out of 5. First one of those we've had. We've had a bunch out of 25. That's a red. One out of five. There's the first stack. Done. All right. Let's hop onto this stack now. We're going to go right to left, in case you guys couldn't uh, tell. Yeah, I know. Well, people say it like, oh, just half a, half a point from Black Label. I'm always like, guys, they're all half a point from Black Label. Chris Archer. That is his rookie super. Let the jokes flow later, I'm sure. Tim has a Archer Super. Gemmed, Andrelton Simmons Super. This is the stack with all the Supers. What gave it away? <laughs> Quad 9.5s on the Simmons. There's a Schwarber with a 10 sub. Also got a 9 on the corners, though. That's the 14 Sterling. Darnode. 10 on the centering. Gems around. Darnode. That is his uh, 12th Platinum Super. There's another KB Super, 15 Bowman Chrome Prospects. 10 on the surface, 9 fives around. There's a Trout, Tier 1 Auto out of 50. That is 15 out of 50. Two 10s on that. Boy, nice subs. Ah, corners with a 9. And another Harvey. Bad time to have Harveys, right? That's a black RPA. Bumped it with the centering, 8.5. Hard to grade centering on NT. Hmm. I didn't think the back looked 8.5. I thought it was 9, but 1 out of 10 on that Harvey. Stunning card right here, honestly. That is Beckham's Cracked Ice Contenders rookie ticket. Gemmed. And it's a jersey number, 13 out of 22. That is a doozy. Tire Beckham fans. And it got a 10 on the auto, which, you know, you know, I'll just leave that with you. Becca says it's a 10. <laughs> this is Connor McDavid, 14-15 uh, Upper Deck Team Canada Junior Auto. It's black. Uh, let's see what the number is on that. No number. Is the number on the front, or is it not numbered? It's numbered right in the front, 4 out of 5. I'm blind. Nice gem McDavid there. Towns, uh, let's see, that is 12 out of 15 playoff ticket in the Kentucky jersey. I got a 9. Is a Griffey Archives Originals, is that the 1 out of 10? Yes, 7 out of 10 on that Griffey. 9. Panic Purple. And a Korea 15 Heritage 51 collection. That's an awesome looking card. So gem on the Correa and the Panic Purple out of 10, 9, um, centering, man. Everything else was beautiful. Surface 10, corners and edges, 9, 5, centering, as you can see, the back centering. 1 out of 10 on that Joe Panic, anyone's interested. All right, let's slide that groove back in and start with the stack. Got a Rizzo. That is 2010 Bowman Draft Red. That is a extremely tough grade on a paper auto right there. 
gemmed out, and what was that numbered out of 50? 33 out of 50. Early Rizzo right there. We got a Porzingis out of 23. That is his cracked ice ticket from 15 contenders. 6 out of 23. Little zinger. 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. There's a Trout from Archives at the 1990 Tops number 1 draft pick. Parallel. 25 on that, I believe. No, 50 on that. 27 out of 50. Look at that. I forgot that was jersey number. Nice trout. Archives and jersey number and gem. And it's got a 10 on centering. There's a LeBron early 0304 prospects. This is Irish uniform. Uh, mint 9. Corners. We knew that going in. We're honestly hoping for a 9. So, solid grade there. Corners were pretty beat up on the back. This card shocks me. That's crazy nice. Farvin Rogers, Rookie Auto, 16 out of 20, Link to the Future. Two tens on the subs. Very, very happy with that. Like, about as happy as you can get. Um, let's see. Yeah, 16 out of 20. That's what I was looking for. 10 on both autos. Can't beat it. There's a Steph Curry 101. A little disappointing there. A little disappointing. Just need a half a bump to gem. Uh, it's 1415 Upper Deck Letterman Autographs Gold. Kind of cool for those of you guys that like the uh, college uniforms. Pictured in the Davidson gear. Here's some more supers. There's one of the nice ones. 10 on the Addison Russell 15 Chrome Prospects. See if I can get some focus in here for us. There we go. 10 on the Russell Pristine. There's some more supers. Ploiecki gemmed. That is 15 Chrome as well. Zach Wheeler. 14 tops Chrome. Second year card for him. That Pristine. Devin Travis, that gemmed as his 14 Chrome Draft top prospect card. Familia, that gemmed. Nice card. It's 2010 Super. Carlos Correa Mini, that one gemmed. Another Mini, that's Addison Russell, that's super gemmed as well. So many Supers, I don't know what to do. go. We got a nice lock here from 2012 Chrome. That's the 84 Refractor out of 15 on card ink and a gem. Very, very tough card right there. Awesome grade, honestly. Thrilled. There's another Schwarber Super. That got a 9. Another Correa Super. That gem. That's his 89 style from 14 Bowman. The Darnode 2007. Technically his first Super back when he was with the Phillies. That 9. Got a DeGrom, Commencements, Gem, Super, and the last one in that stack was a Correa. Uh, one out of 235, that's his Aflac from 2011. When was that? Issued in 2012 Bowman Draft, I was just going to say, I could not remember when that was issued in. Honestly, not too shabby a grade for those. Those of you guys familiar with Aflac, I mean, look at the centering on those. Brutal. Card condition is usually not so great. Back centering is what saved us there, because the front was way off. Okay, let's finish off this stack right here. This card right here was a bump. This was a 8.5. You guys see it on eBay. We cracked it out. The surface was disgusting. Whoever slapped it before us literally had fingerprints and smudge and I don't know. All sorts of stuff. <laughs> Looked like glue on it. But cleaned up beautifully, and it gemmed after all that. With a 10 auto, which is tough for Gala. That is his purple. 8 out of 10. There's a Harvey. Uh, 11 St. Lucie Mets Grandstand. There's one of the first black labels. That is Puig Chattanooga Lookouts. That was a, uh, that was a relabel. That was a 10 previously. They just didn't have uh, black labels that day, I guess. 
The other black label in here is actually organically homegrown here at LCB. Pulled right out of a rookie prospect break. Syndergaard, 9.5. There's a Ligaris Red out of 5. Gem, 9 down the Rogers. That was out of 25. There's a beautiful Brock and Henderson. On card, ink. That card's gorgeous. 1 out of 25. Or 24, sorry. Two tens on that. Very nice card from Tribute. There is another card that was pulled right here at LCB. Alex, I don't know if you remember this. This was originally your pull. We sold it for you on uh, eBay to Andrew. Made his way back to Andrew. Graded it. Mint 9. We always wondered what that centering would get us. <laughs> 8.5. I think back in the day, if I could have guaranteed you a 9, we would have graded this. But we were scared on that front centering. Just a little off. So that is his 14 Bowman Chrome Draft Top Prospect Super on the Bryant. Okay, KB, that is the, actually, that's a Correa 101. Uh, red, yeah. 14 Sterling this is the On Card. He's got On Card and Sticker in this set. On Card Red 101. For those of you not familiar with Sterling, they have a... Uh, couple 101s. They got a super and they have a red. Some years of Sterling they had purples. Uh, 14 Sterling I think they did away with the purple 101s. So that is another Correa gem 101 that we got in this sub. Many of them. This is another beautiful auto. Schmidt and David Wright that tend up. Gorgeous on Cardi. 23 out of 24. Looks like it's time for more supers. Okay, start out with another Gronk. Uh, 10 Platinum. That is just the Rookie Auto, not the Rookie Patch Auto from earlier. And that one got a 9.5 with a 9 on the Auto, a little better than the 8 from earlier. Just a wee bit better. 9.59. Nine. Jock Peterson. Super, 9.59. Nine. Peterson's Super Auto. Gotta love it. Super auto, pun intended. Streaky McStreakerson. Peterson. We got a Schwarber that gemmed. That's his 15 chrome. Super prospect auto. Another nice KB there. Oh boy, I love the subs on that. Tens and tens all around. Black Diamond from uh, 14 Bowman. That's the 89. Bowman is back, and that's the autograph parallel. On card out of 25. Big card coming up next. Probably one of the top ones in the sub. 24 out of 25 on KB. Woo! One of our Correa Supers. 10. Boo to Sticker Inc. But still. Oh my god. Can you imagine if that black label. The corners. How can you even grade the damn corners on this thing, right? <laughs> 10. 10 pristine on the Correa die cut. That's from 14 uh, Bowman Sterling. Die cut auto Supers. Looks like more one-on-one -on -one mojo here. That's a Marshawn Lynch. Finite parallel, one-on-one. -on -one. Pictured in his Cal uniform, the freshly retired Marshawn Lynch. Uh, ten on the card, nine on the auto. Man. You go off the sticker? Yeah, he did go off the sticker once. And a little streaky, too. Uh, I think this is one of the Koufaxes. The other one's Allen. This one got a nine with a ten on the edges. Alan, I notated the serial numbers so I would know whose is whose. Yours is definitely the other one. This was 10 out of 100. And then the last card is a Joey Gallo Red that got a 9. Terrible auto on that. I should have mailed it into Tops. We all know they wouldn't have done anything, but hell, it's worth a shot, right? 9 on the card, though, and that's obviously a tough one. Two tens. Corners and edges. Uh, surface was 8.5 and centering was 9.5. That surface was not good. I can tell you that much. <laughs> As you guys can probably gather. Okay. Oh, a little stack here. Let's just go ahead and do this in one fell swoop. Uh, I don't remember what this card was. 13 National Convention. That's right. VIP Andrew Luck. Black ink autographed. Card graded a 9.9, and these were numbered, I thought, maybe not. Weren't a 
officially numbered, just stamped uh, 13 National and the Panini Authentic stamp on there. And honestly, a 9 for that auto is pretty generous. I'm going to have to figure out what those were numbered to. Or uh, the limited print run, obviously. There wasn't a ton of them. Research for me. There's a Federer Mini Red Ink. 8 out of 10 gem. There's a Rocky Balboa from A&G. Little A&G Mojo. That is an awesome card. 10 on the centering there, too. Thunder had a 10 on the surface. Uh, there's a Black KB out of 99. 910. Not too shabby. 8.5 on the centering. Centering was brutal on that. Uh, there's a Posey 14 Platinum. Purely Platinum. Missed out on the Jose Batista, though, so it was on eBay for a while. I should have grabbed it. Uh, 910 on that. Surface held it back. More Super Mojo. There's another Darnaud. That gem. 14, uh, 13 Sterling. Sorry, that's a blue Sapphire Signings Super Fractor. Don't even ask me why they, they call it that. <laughs> I understand the subset is blue with silver ink. I don't... Whatever. Weird tops. Beautiful card, though. Dansby. Freshly called up. That is his Diamondback Super from 15 Best First Impressions. Solaire. 13 Sterling. At 910. Jock Peterson. 10. 10. 9.5 and 9 on that Super. Illustrious autographs from uh, 15 Chrome. Uh, this was a big disappointment. The 101 Zinger championship ticket. Uh, got an 8.5. That was one of the few with a 9 auto. So, boo. Boo to that. I just noticed the camera hasn't been focusing for anything. That's not, not too bad. Oh, we got a Darnow that gemmed. That's a red and a KB blue inception out of 75. Two tens on the subs, gemmed. That is it for the first three stacks. We've got the small stacks left now. Okay, let's go Dave B. Dave B. That is your Brandon Belt. Almost feels like they put it in a thick holder. But they didn't. Uh, 8.5 on the surface. Had some uh, scratch issues that just would not go away. Got a 10 on the auto, though, for Belt. That in itself is an accomplishment. Uh, Danny, these are yours. Let me slide these off to the side. These are Danny's. You have a couple trouts. One nine with a ten sub, by the way, and two other nine fives. One gem with a ten. And another gem with a ten. And your last card, PC, for you, my friend. A little Piscotti. Archive 69 throwback top super autos 1010. How's that for the man cave? Those cards were out of 50, 32 out of 50. And they dinged you on the edges. Must have been too round. <laughs> I mean, come on. So 1010. When I saw this on the pop report, I thought that could have been the, the mystery black label. But it wasn't. Uh, let me pop these in your pile. Let me know what I'm doing with those, Danny. Okay, Jeff. These are your two cards from this sub. You had the Mattingly from uh, Tribute. Centering held it back. Centering was not great. Top to bottom is where they got you. See big gap, small gap. Left to right was beautiful. Still a gorgeous card in its own right. And this one you'll be happy with. Pulled you that, what, four or five weeks ago? Right out of a Rookie Prospects Mixer. Either Rookie P Mixer or 10 Platinum Personal Box. I can't remember. Either way, four or five weeks ago. Nice card for you, Jeff. Well, PC Love. Jeff. Okay. These were some more... These were LCB cards. So, again, if anyone's interested, PM... Uh, drop a link in the comments on this. Uh, Alex, this is your Gaddis, bro. Back in the day that we bought from you. So now you know what it would have graded. It would have graded a 9. 
I think we thought that all along because I had pretty bad surface scratches. Two things that fooled me. Two tens, though, man. That's nice. That was shocking. Um, centering to me, if you look at that gap, that gap, I, I don't see the 10, but I'm not Beckett. <laughs> we'll take it. Otherwise, it would not have been uh, a 9. It was a little Avisail Garcia. Just a, just a gem. I want this to focus on this last couple cards. On these last couple cards. There we go. Okay, Garcia. Anyone's a Martavis Bryant fan, let me know. We got two gems here. Rookie Auto Refractors. 14 Bowman Chrome. Nice cards for Steeler fans. Both got 10 autos, too. <clears throat> Benatendi Blue. First Chrome. Our Amari Cooper Contenders Playoff Ticket out of 30 gem. Nice 10 on the surface. That's a card Larry just pulled maybe three weeks ago. The Correa Gold from Inception for us. 6 out of 25. Did that get a 10 on the auto? Wow, it did. 10 on the auto. 10 on the auto. And Michael Franco. That one's ours. Any Phillies fans, let me know. 10-10. Ten, ten. So close. That card would have looked unbelievable with the black label on it, too. Look at that. The black, the blue. Oh, that would have looked nice. That would have looked pretty. Okay, I'm saving this. This is the black label. So I'm saving this. We'll do that last. Brian, uh, your posy did 10, dude. I thought it might have when you asked me yesterday. I said gem, I couldn't remember. It's a posy, 20 out of 50, that is so nasty. That's from uh, 16 Tribute Ageless Accolades Autographs. 20 out of 50. Send you one of the 9.5 Trouts and the Piscotti, the other two go off, okay. All right, sounds good, dude. Will do. You got it, bro. Okay, Brian. Okay, so Alan. Um, this guy stole the show. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> Alan stole the show. So let's take a look at his sub. He had 20 cards, and then we got uh, the first... Black label that was legitimately pulled in a break here, sent in for grading, and came back a black label. We've had a couple black labels, but they weren't necessarily pulled live. Go ahead and flip this forward. Okay, Alan, I put your disappointing ones in the front, so we can get those out of the way. Let me get my camera to like me. Okay, so the Correa Black Heritage did not grade well. 8.5. The 3D Threads Harper, good subs, but something on the surface I couldn't get off there. 8.5. Crazy nice patch, though. That's out of 25 for anybody that's wondering. One Jimenez got a 9. That's your gold from 14 Chrome. Chris Sale, the uh, 14 one one Clear. Got a nine. Okay. Sounds good, Danny. Sounds good. Your Bryant uh, got a nine. The edges. And it doesn't help that I slam it on the desk. Rookie move. Uh, the Bryant had edge problems. Only thing that held it back on those subs, you see. 8.5. Looked gorgeous otherwise. Like I told you... I think I emailed you when I saw it. The centering was unbelievable on this. Not the end of the world, though. Nine's still solid. Uh, Syndergaard. Little mint action. Ten auto. That was the auto. That's the base auto on the Noah. Your Koufax also got a nine, so both Koufaxes in the sub got nines. feel like I failed you guys here. These look like gorgeous cards. Uh... Something on the surface, the uh, scratches just would not come out because both of them got 8.5s. And I've actually seen quite a few like this. There's only 100 of these. They were all redemptions from tops, obviously. Many of them did not uh, did not do so well. Damn you, tops. Okay, this is your last disappointment, and it's not really that big of a disappointment. A Seeger Refractor with a 9 and a 10 auto is not too shabby. 2012 Chrome, even got a 10 on your edges. 
Uh, where sub was that nasty surface with an eight. This one I remember. It looked like someone, you know, between all of you and me, it looked like someone had uh, taken a garden rake to the surface on this Allen. <laughs> so I, I did my best for you, buddy. That's solid. Now get ready to jump for joy because the rest of your subs absolutely ridiculous. Okay, uh, you got a Thor refractor, the gem, ten auto. You got a Jimenez shimmer. Uh, those are the fifteen. I gem. Thirteen out of fifteen to be exact on the Jimenez. Um, Stacy, just let me know and I'll I'll put you in touch with him. Machado. Kind of disappointing, but not really, because it's really hard to get these to gem. 10 centering. Gold ink. 9 auto for Machado. 3 out of 25 from 13 Bowman. Again, the good old blue sapphire signings ruby parallel, which means the card is black and the ink is gold. Couldn't be any more confusing if they tried. Here's a Bryant that gem. That's his purple rookie. Two tens on that, Alan. Two tens. Stacy, you need to watch the rest of the sub from the beginning. Uh, there's Cubs Superfractors galore. It'll be on YouTube in about 15 minutes when I close this. Uh, Syndergaard, purple. And if I told you you only had one more gem, would you even believe me? Since you have six cards, Alan. I told you you stole the show, man. Uh, there's the purple. Ten on the edges. Gem overall. And here's a Correa Tech. Two tens. Nine five centering. That was out of 25 on the Correa Tech. Okay. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy the rest of this. Your Thor rookie. Got a 10. Pristine. That's the gold. Uh, I think there were lots before the Schwarber. <laughs> Which Schwarber? I think there's three Schwarber Supers in here. It's a 10 10 on the Thor. Beautiful card here. 10 on the Correa. 13 Bowman Chrome Prospects. First Chrome. Just missed on the corners. Oh, another 10. KB Tech Confetti out of 99 from 15. What? That wasn't enough 10s? We got one more for you. Green Thor. 10 10. <laughs> go and eh, why not one more 10 Xander Bogart's gold rookie auto from 15 finest or 14 finest why not one more 10 now Alan you're probably uh, remembering what is underneath this dude I'm sure you know what card is underneath this I can't remember if I told you not to grade this or I told you to grade it when I pulled this for you when did I pull this for you? A year ago, Alan? Something like that? The Trout Logo Man, folks. It gemmed, after all. I can't I can't remember if I recommended grading or if I recommended not grading. But it definitely looks like I should have. Let me get this to focus up nice. There we go. Nine corners, ten surface, and gem overall. Obviously a ten auto. I'll look, but yeah, ten auto. Beautiful. That is the Trout 101 Logo Man. Pulled live here for Alan. Okay. That's awesome. I have one more card to show. Like I said, this is our very first live case break. Organically pulled. Black label. This guy's going to freak when he's going to see this. He's having uh, his second child right now. I think he's two months in with his second child, so he is all sorts of strung out. Those of you guys that are parents can relate. Check this beauty out, dude. That is the first one I have pulled from a pack, graded for a customer, and came back with the black label. And that looks unbelievable. The little black bar here. Whew. Aesthetically, that's a gorgeous freaking car. And they're not worth thousands, but I don't know if Aaron's even gonna sell that bad boy. I might be a mantelpiece for a while. So for anybody that's not familiar with these, these are the 2013... Oh yeah, Mike, I forgot. That's the second, dude. The Billy Hamilton Super. 
I forgot I pulled that one too. So yeah, we have two organically grown black labels. Um, wow, I can't believe I forgot that, dude. That's crazy. So yeah, story with these, for anybody not familiar, 13 sterling, you get one of these Sapphire reprints per case, per 8-box case. Um, there's 10, 15 subjects, I think. So the odds of just landing a trout alone are very, very rare. 1 in 10, 1 in 15 cases. So you only get one of these for every 8 boxes. We got trout. I honestly didn't think it was a black label, but I thought it looked beautiful. Congrats, Aaron. That's all you, man. All right, guys, I'm going to save this video, upload it to YouTube, so those of you people that missed the beginning can check it out from front to back. I think there's about 20 or 25 super fractors in here. Tons of cub stuff. I know we got a Cubs fan in the room with Stacy already. Feel free to check it out. Comment. For those of you um, that don't have my email address, comment in the threads on the YouTube video. That's the best way if you're interested in any of these, uh, the first cards that we showed. So let me go ahead and do this, and then I'll be back. We got a case of Topps Chrome tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And a ton of personals, hit drafts, blah, 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 blah. You guys know the drill. I don't need to sit here and be a salesman with you. All right, let me get you the link for Topps Chrome, and then I'm going to save this video. Something just fell behind me. I don't know what fell. Yeah, so actually the first black label that came from